Samsung Galaxy Advance, the 9070. Nice phone. I remember installing the Pocket ROM on this thing. And uh, in fact, this is uh, the Pair ROM. And this phone is running at this moment. Uh, let me show that to you. KitKat, Android 4.4.4. But how about if we would upgrade this phone to Android 6, 601 or 6? Would that not be fun? So I found a ROM here, a CM13, and I want to test it. So let's jump on the tripod and let's do some crazy installing with this old 9070, this Samsung Galaxy Advance. Welcome back. So now uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go into recovery mode. You see, I already had it set up. I can choose thanks to the developer's options. We're gonna restart. Pretty good phone, eh? The Advance. This is not the P version, by the way. So we're gonna boot straight into the recovery mode. We're just gonna say install zip. Because in fact, all these apps that you see on this phone, they are branded into the ROM. This is a poker ROM that I'm gonna flash now. Uh, I think this must be it, peeps. Um, CM13. 9070. You see that? There we go. That's it. There we go. There we go, my friends. Look at that. Nice. Um, yes, next. We had uh, many options that we could install. It did also the, did a little uh, backup there some files but effect so we didn't really have to do it but for you it's better to do it you should take all the all the steps to you know kind of protect yourself otherwise it's not good Also, I must say that the ROM for the Samsung Gyo, even though nobody's interested in this phone anymore, is running really nice, really. This thing has a privacy guard, everything installed in it. You should really take a look at the ROM. And because of the privacy guard, you can, you know, protect this phone. You can also install the Droid firewall in it. It'll be just fine. So today is, what day is it today? One computer is saying it's the 13th and the other one is saying it's the 14th. Oh no, it's the 13th. 13th of December. Okay, there we are peeps, permissions next. Reboot the device now. So it's done. And this phone should be on Android 6 now. Very, very nice. So we updated two phones today. This one is to the latest. Because on KitKat, the Gyo had problems with the camera. These problems are fixed. This thing is a perfect video camera. So, it's done. 
Okay, this one is fixed. Let's see what's wrong with this piece of crap. Embarrassing me here in front of all the people. Oh, this is a hard battery to remove, oops. Oh. This is really hard battery to remove. Uh, look at the batteries, kinda. The sticker is all gone. So let's boot it up now. It should boot now. Could be that it cannot uh, deal with all the apps that I had on the thing. If everything goes good, all the apps should still be there. So probably it's gonna have some problems updating the apps, but it should update them now. The Geo and the Ace. And the Ace one. So let's see if the video works. Video. Put it on widescreen. Yeah, it's recording. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're. Uh, Looking at the Samsung Advance 9070, and uh, it's a very nice blue phone. It's from the Blue Collection, the Cyanogen what collection? Yep, very nice phone, just like this one. Only there's no video player, so we cannot watch the file. I think. Let me see. Oh, it can't play it. It's recording, yes, ladies and gentlemen. We're uh, looking at the Samsung Advance 9070. And uh, it's a very nice blue phone. It's from the Blue Collection. The Cyanogen what collection? Yep. Very nice. <laughs> the, 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 the screen looks kind of strange. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, we're starting up here. You see, so kicking out the battery does help. If you're kind of waiting too long, and you don't want to wait any longer, just kick out the battery. I think my home screen, everything should still be in here, because I didn't, in fact, uh, wiped anything. 20 apps, that's all. That's all there is to it, peeps. Android wordt bijgesteld. Op staat de afronden. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Tja. Does the cam work? Nee. Is it working? What is it saying? I'm saying no. It made the picture. Put it in get on camera. Camera stopped. Okie doke. So the video camera is not good. No. The video camera is not working. Okay, good to know. Maybe we can fix it. But we are on 6, we're not gonna worry about the video camera. You know, we're gonna worry about protection. It's all about protection. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. And here, 601 peeps. Beautiful. 
and let me see if I can find more information. GTI 970 build number. Let's enable developers options. And let's go in there. Advanced boot. Here we should have root, root for only apps. This beautiful install peeps, very nice. Look at that. So um, let's see if the Wi-Fi works. It works fine. So let's add a Wi-Fi station. I think we are connected to Wi-Fi. There we go. Boom. And let's go and see what is left of my my apps. SD card zero. As you can see, I have all my apps here. Turn on. And I'm gonna install my launcher. And then I have my look and feels immediately back. There it is, boom. My favorite launcher. See that? Nice, eh? So uh, this is now uh, kind of my phone. And the most beautiful part of this phone, of course, of course, my friends, is... The most beautiful part is privacy. And here we have privacy. Card. We can turn that on. Here we turn it on, and we immediately gonna take care of whatever we installed. We're gonna look for the launcher. Here it is, and as you can see, it wants to make calls. I'm gonna disable Wi-Fi, App Cellular won't read no don't even ask me no you see this is the privacy guard my cam is not filming it good as usual it's kind of crappy cam in the iPhone 6 no offense Apple but that's just how it is this thing can never film another screen so there we are peeps um yeah we are back always dang beautiful successful project i'm gonna pimp this thing a bit okay peeps uh i played a bit with the phone and we're gonna reboot it now this is android 6 remember i9070 and there we go <laughs> this is the blue apple it's kind of nice huh? you see the blue is, is, is kind of here in the middle it's like fading out to black and then you know with the phone it looks really nice it's beautiful i might use it in one of my uh, rooms also because we have the updated eye launcher now also looking very very nice it's all about look and feel sir and how the thing works I'm not saying that uh, i don't like the android look and feels they also look fantastic i think uh yeah, it looks great 
you see i'm also keeping these looks of android i'm not gonna change that that's it you know this is it boom very nice lovely and i'm not sure if this thing came with wallpaper so let's see if we can find a nice wallpaper there let's see um it says no background oh here background you can also uh, say no background if you want you can select no background hey this is my favorite i want it wow look at that boom look at that man and the home screen beautiful see that so i think this is it uh for now for the advanced uh, they are working on CM14, so this thing is going to go to uh, Android 7 as well. But for now, it's it's just fine on 601. 601 is Goolian... 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 I can't even say it. It's Goolian proof. So, yeah. It's all about being Goolian proof. I can confirm, yes, uh, CM13 is nice for... Uh, for this phone, the Advance, the Galaxy Advance, only one thing, one little pity, uh, the cam is, the video camera is not working. So I might look for a fix, but it's not so important to me for the video camera to work. You know, I think if you have an old phone like this and you still want to use it, being on 601 is a better choice than, you know, being on the original ROM that this thing comes with because, tja, you will be a victim of all sorts of things that can happen to you okay um being on this room also means that uh in the private guard you can uh in fact fix everything that is not uh at your wishes um and you can make your phone kind of very very safe you know i think this is the safest android phone in the world i think android can be the safest phone mobile phone in the world uh, with of course private guard with the droid firewall yeah, I think that you will come really far with that with uh, protecting your phone and of course your privacy and everything that goes along with it I want to thank you for watching I hope you liked this video again and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take some rest now I'm gonna watch a nice bonanza uh, series my bonanza series so that's what i'm gonna do now so i wish you a fantastic night there wherever you are day week month see you in my next video